Hey folks, this is Richard from Void IT Solutions and I'm here today to tell you about Remove Likes. Many of us are guilty of buying fake likes. What many of us didn't realize is that when we pollute our pages with all these bad likes, many of our actual fans don't see our posts. This is due to Facebook only displaying our posts to a percentage of our users. Even those of us that haven't purchased likes still have many from fake profiles in countries we never intended to target. This is due to like farmers that will like random pages to make their profiles seem more legitimate rather than having a bunch of accounts from a small location liking just a handful of pages. Remove Likes was designed to help eliminate these fake profiles that ruin your ability to reach your true audience. Now let me show you how to get started. After you open the software, the first thing you'll need to do is connect your RemoveLikes.com credentials. After you enter them, you'll click the Save button, which I've already done, and the software will log in and check for updates. Over here, you'll notice the status. This will let you know you've connected successfully. The next line will tell you if there's an update available. Then you see how many likes have been removed since you've started using the software, and how many of the installations you've used from your license. The next thing you'll do is go over to the Facebook Information tab, under account credentials you'll enter your Facebook account then click this button right here to add it after you add your first account it'll show up in the drop down here you'll select it click connect which I've also already done and your list of pages will be loaded into this list here now what you'll do is go ahead and select a the page then you can go on over to the options tab and select your removal method you can choose graph 1, which will remove fans based on the countries you select in the left. You can choose graph 2, which will also remove from countries you select in the left, if you choose to do so. And will compare their location to the Remove Likes database to make the process faster. Graph mode 3 is to remove like farmers. If you check it, you'll notice this becomes available over here. And what this is, is the amount of pages that the fans have liked. Nobody's going to sit there and like 5,000 pages within a short amount of time. Uh, myself personally, I like to have it at 1,000. What this will do is go through all of your fans, and if they've liked an amount of pages greater than what you specify here, it will remove them. Now sometimes Facebook's graph API fails to return results. We don't know why this is, but usually when it fails, it'll start returning results again the next day. So if you ever run into a situation where you've been running the graph modes for a while and Facebook decides it's not going to return any more results, you can then switch to fan by fan for the rest of the day. This method will go through all of your fans, finding them a different way, and it'll remove them successfully all of the time. It's just a little bit slower than the graph mode. Below that, you have all fans, which will run every mode that you have available to you. And then below that is custom. This is a graph search. What you do is enter a search down here, like people who like void IT solutions. And then you'd hit enter. Once the results appear down here, you would then come over to campaign status and hit start. Now, no matter the option you choose, that's pretty much the process. We'll select the method in here, set your options, go to campaign status, and click start. Now, this particular option, I have to select a country before I can start. And on the right for this method, you'll notice the option to run popular searches. What this does is say you choose Turkey. Rather than only searching for people that live in Turkey, It'll search for people that speak Turkish, that have gone to schools in Turkey, that used to live in Turkey. Anything to do with Turkey. The popular searches will apply to any country you choose in the left. On the right here, you have removal amount. Now, our software has a good idea of how many fans your page has. Actually, it knows exactly how many fans you have. What it doesn't know, however, is how many fans you have from Turkey or India. So if you were to choose graph mode 1 and Facebook 
only returns 50 results, then the software thinks it's done at 50. So the minimum removal amount on the right here, say you have 100 fans from Turkey, you can enter 100. Then if Facebook only returns 50 fans, the software knows, A, that's not all of the fans from Turkey I have, so it'll go ahead and try other methods to remove them. Over here you have options for fan by fan mode, which if you select, you can continue from the last job. We have this in here for fan by fan because of the way it runs and the fact that it runs a little slower than the graph searches. And right here you have remove fans with no country. What this will do is when it's running through all of your fans, if they don't have a location set, it'll go ahead and get rid of them. Now down here you have your proxy options. You hit choose to select a proxy file, clear if you decide you don't want to use it anymore, and then on the right you have max sequential proxy uses. We found during testing that if you remove over 2,000 fans from one IP address in one day, you may get banned for 24 hours. So if you intend on removing a large amount of fans in a short period, we highly recommend that you use proxies and keep the max sequential proxy uses at 2,000 or below. What will happen once it hits 2,000 fans, it will go ahead and move to the next proxy in your list. I'll go ahead and select all fans here. You can see it's chosen all the countries. All of the methods are grayed out. That's because it's using all of them anyway. Go over to campaign status. You can hit test run if you'd like. This will run through the whole process, which will let you know how many people would be removed, except it won't actually use up your removals and it won't actually remove anyone. Or if you're ready to go, you can click start and that's it.